hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Morris dimba and today i'm going to show you how to mark up and create holes on your base plates and cup plates and let's get started here if you take a look on the screen we have nothing at all but in this case uh, in this particular case we want to create a plate we've marked you can see this point and uh, i'll go straight to steel here and i want to create plates a plate just a plate one plate and mark it up and create holes let me just uh, mark and close that polygon and we have our plate in place so we want to mark the points that uh, will be drilled at the workshop so we have to uh, mark all those all those points and uh, and place uh, and create the holes right here now i'll go straight here and come to edit and uh, come to points and pick online and i want to snap from this spot here to this spot i want to locate the midpoint of this plate at this end i'll close that i'll just apply and accept that then i'll come at this end and pick another point and snap at the end here now i want to give an offset of this point going on the, going toward this direction by a particular measurement so i'll give it an offset of 80 uh, 80 millimeter so uh, feeding in uh, that measurement you take into account the direction of x y z axis so so in this case we'll work with the uh, with the y axis so I'll, I'll i'll change everything to zero except the uh, the axis i'm working on so i'm um, this particular case i'm working on y axis so i'll feed in uh, a negative 80 because um, we are going against the direction of the y axis so i'll go ahead and click copy and click ok right there and since at uh, this distance from this point to that point should be similar to the to the other side so it what we'll do we'll just pick on this then right click and come to copy here and pick it from this point and just uh, place it on the other end right there so we'll get rid of this because this will just to guide us through and uh, it has it has no si significance at all now i'll pick i'll go ahead and pick this point and press ctrl and select all these points right click and come to special copy and uh, take into account the direction of x axis in this in this case it's pointing we, we are moving on against the direction of x x axis so what we'll do in the on the y axis will change it to zero then uh, prefix our offset dimension with the, with the negative sign here in this case we want to give it an offset of 60 millimeter here going inward now uh, now i'll go ahead and click copy and that's it we've created this so these points at this edge we just come here and delete them because you don't need them at all now what i'm going to do again at this point again i'll come back here and come to edit and come here and uh, come to at, at any position and snap right here snap right here and give it an offset of of 80 millimeter in the direction of x axis so in this in this case we'll remove this and uh, a negative sign and uh, just come here and click okay so that we can uh this this point will act as a, a guiding point when we when it comes to copying these points with, to the other end now what i'm going to do is uh, uh providing a same uh, guiding point to look uh, to hold these three points to that position so i'll come here and select these three points like like that right click and come to copy and uh, copy them from that spot and uh, bring them to that spot that's it now i don't need this just delete that and delete that now i i'll use these three points these two points to locate the middle point and how do you do that you come to online and pick on that snap on that spot and snap right here we've got our midpoint right there now we can copy this point the other end by either picking on it or doing the same thing we did here and i would prefer that so that you get you get the concept right now i'll come back here and and do the just the same thing snap there and and snap right here to get the midpoint now i'll click apply and, and accept now we will get rid of unnecessary points that will will uh, subject us to some sort of confusion so let's just get rid of these points now we have the 
the eight points in place now we want to start placing the holes how do we do that we want uh, uh, a 22 diameter hole going through the plate now i'll come to applications and components here this is the place where we get all the macros that makes our work easier when it comes to uh, accessing the tools that works better for us now i'll come to uh, hole generation here and double click on that once i've double clicked on that i need a hole first of all i'll just get rid of everything here so that we start afresh that's empty that's empty now we, i need a hole of diameter 22 millimeter now what i'll do remember the moment uh, the moment you invoke this uh, macro if you take a look at the bottom end here you'll see you're being requested to pick the object to create the holes from now i want to create holes on this plate i'll click on it then press my build button right there then uh, i'll go ahead and pick the position here pick the position here right there that is the position i want to create the holes on now i'll click on empty screen remember by default if you want to create a hole of 22 di uh, 22 millimeter diameter remember you feed the measurement on that spot this one don't worry about it will be it will be grayed off so it it won't it won't be any important at all so the the diameter the actual diameter of the hole you want to create feed it here and uh on this he on the on this on this on this slot and this slot is just to position your hole into the exact point you intend to place the hole like in this in, in this in this particular case it is here now we'll take to position it accurately you take half of this 22 feed it here in this particular case we'll feed a neg uh, negative 11 and also here will feed a negative 11 it will take the half of, of this negative 11 so so the moment you click modify apply it will the, the half the di the half the dimensional of of the of the full diameter of the hole will position it in this point i mean on this point so we'll We'll, uh, we'll keep that as a default setting and proceed with placing the holes. So we'll come here again and click, press middle button on the mouse and pick that, right click and click on empty screen and come here and do exactly the same thing. Pick the part you want to create the holes in or on, then press a middle button, then uh, pick the hole right click and click click on empty screen come here and invoke the command again and click on the plate press the middle button then select the hole uh, select the point right click and interrupt then click on empty screen to deselect and come back to the to the command and click the part that you want to create the holes from or on or on then uh, press the middle button on the mouse so you remember the moment you click your middle button on the mouse the, the question will change now to pick the position and I want this position to be uh, uh, hold to be created on that to be created on that position then I right click and uh, click on interrupt then click on empty screen to remove to to escape from that selection now I'll come back again and uh, select the part I want to create the holes on then press the middle button on the mouse and you see the question turns pick the position I want I want to pick that position right click and click on empty screen then come back and do the same thing um, press the middle button on the mouse then pick that position right click and click interrupt and we have our holes in place then right click then now when you come here come to navigate and if you rotate this you'll see you've created your holes and this one you can submit you can create you can now create drawings on uh, of this plate and uh, and submit to workshop for for cutting and uh, drilling purposes this is how it's done and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new and bye bye that's all for today and uh, let's meet then i'm Maurice dimba and don't forget once again to subscribe bye bye